Hi again. Are you ready for some more brown bear stories? Well, we're moving on to Brown Bear Gets in Shape, in which a brown bear tries to do exercise, although he couldn't see his feet. But we'll just find out as we read along. So, why don't you join with me this time? But I won't let you do the read along. But you can listen to me if you, as, you, as I go along. So, anyway, uh, are you ready? Here we go. Brown Bear gets in shape. One morning, Brown Bear looked down and got a nasty surprise. He could not see his feet. All that he could see was his big round tummy. The more he looked, the bigger and rounder his tummy seemed to be. Oh, said Brown Bear. Oh, dear. How tubby I have grown. He went downstairs to see Bunny. Hello, Bunny, said Brown Bear. Hello, Brown Bear, said Bunny. Brown Bear looked at Bunny. Bunny's tummy wasn't tubby. She could easily see her feet. Oh, Bunny, said Brown Bear. I want to be the same shape as you. What can I do? Bunny thought for a moment. What do you eat? she asked at last. Oh, uh, honey, said Brown Bear. What do you eat? I eat lettuce and carrots, said Bunny. What did you try to eat lettuce and carrots too? So Brown Bear tried lettuce and carrots for one whole day. He had carrot juice and lettuce leaves for breakfast. He had lettuce sandwiches and carrot cake for lunch. He had lettuce soup and carrot sticks for dinner, but he didn't like it very much and he still couldn't see his feet. When he looked down, his tummy looked bigger than ever. Oh dear, this is no good, he said. Perhaps Chimp will be able to help. So Brown Bear went to visit Chimp. Chimp's tummy wasn't tubby. He could see his feet. Chimp, said Brown Bear, I wish my tummy was the same shape as yours. What do you eat? I eat bananas, said Chimp. OK, said Brown Bear. I shall eat some bananas too. Brown Bear ate bananas for one week, whole week. He ate banana bread and drank banana milkshakes. <laughs> he even ate banana skins. He liked bananas a lot more than lettuce and carrots, or carrots. But his tummy was still the same shape and he still couldn't see his feet. Oh, this is no good, he sighed. Bunny had another idea. Why did you come for a hop with me? She said. Exercise is good for getting in shape. Oh, uh, okay, said Brown Bear. So Brown Bear and Bunny went for a hop through the forest. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> this is fun, said Brown Bear. But then, squelch, squelch, squish. <laughs> Brown Bear hopped so hard he was in mud up to his middle. Help, help, cried Brown Bear. Chimp heard the noise and came out of his house to help. Chimp and Bunny pulled Brown Bear out of the mud. Then they took him to Chimp's house and helped him get clean again. Why don't we all go to the gym, said Chimp. That's where I go to get in shape. <coughs> Brown Bear loved the gym. He leapt on this and he pulled on that. He did sit-ups and star jumps. Chimp threw him a rope. Hey, Brown Bear, climb up this, he called. Brown Bear climbed up the rope. Then he swung onto another and another and another. This is fun, cried Brown Bear. But then, crack, crunch, crash. Brown Bear bashed into the wall, fell off the rope and bumped on his bottom. <laughs> oh! How Brown Bear. Oh, it's no good, said Brown Bear, looking down at his tummy. Oh, my tummy's still round and toppy. I'll never be able to change my shape. Oh. Brown Bunny looked at Brown Bear. Oh, uh, Brown Bear, she said. Um, I like your shape. It's well, bear-shaped. Yes, agreed Chip. Bears are supposed to have round tummies. Have you ever seen a bear with a flat tummy? Brown Bear thought he thought very hard. Uh, well, no, he said at last. I don't think I have. You, you have your shape and we have ours, said Bunny. Brown Bear looked down at his big round bear-shaped tummy. Mm, perhaps you're right, 
he said. Then he smiled. <coughs> I love my tummy. Oh, sighed Brown Bear happily, and he gave it a little pat. Then he frowned. Oh, you don't think it's looking a little flat, do you? He asked anxiously. No, said Bunny and Chimp together. But Brown Bear went to get some honey, just in case. Well, we hope you enjoyed both of the Brown Bear stories, and we will be back in another story very soon. So I'll see you next time, viewers, and until then, goodbye everyone, goodbye.